Welcome to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. I'm Tony Guerra, the pharmacist and author of the Memorizing Pharmacology book series, bringing you mnemonics, cases, and advice for succeeding in pharmacology. Sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Let's get started with the show. Hey, welcome to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. I'm excited to talk to you a little bit about uh, cardiac section. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an interactive activity with the antiarrhythmics. And I think it gets a little bit confusing when we talk about them. But uh, we have class one, uh, which is the NA or sodium uh, blockers. And then we have well, fast sodium channel blockers. We have within that 1A, 1B, 1C, so procainamide, uh, lidocaine, and phenytoin in 1B, and then flecainide in 1C. Then we have the two, which is the beta blockers, but we can have, you know, the first gens, which are like propranolol, second gen metoprolol, and third gen carvedilol. Uh, We kind of move down to class three, uh, which is amiodarone, uh, and then class four would be the verapamil and diltiazem. So the amiodarone uh, is going to be a potassium blocking. And then the calcium channel blockers are going to be the verapamil and diltiazem. So one, two, three, and four. And then five, we'll talk a little bit about adenosine uh, in a second here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over the antiarrhythmic agents or sometimes called the antidysrhythmic agents. And What we're going to do is we're going to just uh, do a little matching here, but what I want to give you is a bit of a mnemonic uh, that can help you remember which class goes with which medication. And the mnemonic is NAB-KCA. So NAB for sodium, N-A, and the B for beta blocker. And it may help if you do NAB, N-A-B-B. That may help you even more. And then K for potassium, blocker or potassium channel blocker, really. And then CA for calcium channel blocker. And then the last one is adenosine uh, for five. So uh, this comes from the Vaughn Williams classification. And you'll be told about the Roman numerals, Roman numeral one, which looks like an I, which is class one. Uh, Class two is two I's. Class three is three I's. Class four is an I with a V. And class five is a V by itself. So what we're going to be going over, and I'm not going to answer these in the order that they're in, I'm going to go class one, class two, class three, class four, and then adenosine, which is class five, because what I want for you to do is to remember it using this mnemonic. So class one, what we're looking for is the word sodium or NA in one of the answers. So here are the answer choices. And I know they're a little bit long, but I just want to read them uh, so that you can hear how kind of jumbled it is when you just try to read them uh, without having any mnemonic or anything. Uh, First one is medications prolong repolarization by blocking the potassium channels in cardiac cells that are responsible for repolarization. Number two says anti-dysrhythmic medications slow conduction and prolong depolarization by decreasing sodium influx into cardiac cells. Medications increase the refractory period of the AV node by slowing the influx of calcium ions, thus decreasing the ventricular response and decreasing the heart rate. Medications are beta blockers that are used to decrease conduction velocity, automaticity, and the refractory period of the cardiac conduction cycle. And then a unique medication given to patients who are experiencing paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. So our key words were potassium, sodium, calcium, beta blocker, and then medication. So now let's use our mnemonic, our NAB, K-C-A. So the N-A from NAB would be class one, okay? And we saw that it was this answer, anti-dysrhythmic medication, slow conduction, and prolonged depolarization by decreasing sodium influx into cardiac cells. So one is the N-A in NAB, class one. Class two are the beta blockers, the two Bs, 
Okay, so NABB, medications are beta blockers that are used to decrease conduction velocity, automaticity, and the refractory period of the cardiac conduction cycle. Class three was K, so again, it's NAB KCA. So a little bit tricky here because potassium, when you look at the periodic table, it is K for kalium. It is a synonym for potassium. Uh, the potassium comes from pot ash, uh, which is uh, where this comes from. So let's put that class three there. Medications prolong repolarization by blocking the potassium channels in cardiac cells that are responsible for repolarization. Class four medications, okay, we're going to match this, increase the refractory period of the AV node by slowing the influx of calcium ions. So this is our CA, okay? thus decreasing the ventricular response and decreasing the heart rate. But you can also use the A as class five, which is this adenosine, a unique medication given to patients who are experiencing paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. Okay, and now we can check. Okay, and we see that they're all right. So again, going from one, we have our sodium, which was our NA, from the periodic table. Again, that's a little bit tricky one also because it's natrium, but we don't say that somebody is hyposodiumemic. We say that they are hyponatremic, okay? And then class two was our BB, our beta blockers, okay? Our class three was our K for kalium, which is potassium on the periodic table. Class four was calcium, our CA, and then A for adenosine is our class five, which really the mechanism of action is kind of a question mark. But uh, so class one, class two, class three, class four, class five, uh, hopefully is a little bit easier way of remembering those uh, from this cardiac module interactive activity. Thanks for listening to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. You can find episodes, cheat sheets, and more at memorizingpharm.com. Again, you can sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Thanks again for listening.